New York City in danger, guys. Hello, everyone. This is mysterious because an ancient 250 mile mystery blob is headed straight for New York City. And now you might think, is she going crazy or what? Um, no, I'm not. This is real, guys. It sounds really strange. That's why I'm going to dissect it for you. This is actually a monstrosity. So imagine this. There is a massive blob of hot rock. And if you watch my channel on a regular basis, you know what hot rock is, right? Um, it's underneath New England. And it appears to be part of an ancient wave that is moving towards millions of Americans in New York. Boof, the message is out. You might still wonder, what is that? Is that a magma intrusion? What is happening there? Why is she saying ancient? So this thing is actually super interesting. That's why I thought I have to tell you about this. So the scientists are saying that this nearly 250 mile blob, and it adds big, right? And they, they have a name for it. They call it the Northern Appalachian Anomaly. NAA. So this is how significant it is. They even have a shortcut for it. So it's roughly 125 miles underground and it stretches. Now here it comes absolutely crazy across Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. This is huge. A team from the University of Southampton in the UK and the Helmholtz Center for Geosciences in Germany found it using seismic tomography, a method that's like basically taking a CT scan of the Earth. And I have reported about this in, in other videos about Yellowstone, Campi Flegri, and I'm always surprised that people from other continents or countries discover these dangerous and in the US. Don't they have their own teams that might be able to find something like this? So this is interesting. Germany, right? They seem to be interested in, in the whole world. I mean, but let's get back to that blob. <laughs> That's a funny, funny description, but it's, it's not really funny, guys. Um, it's like, Unlike typical hotspots that we have near volcanoes, this blob is far inland. It's hidden beneath the ancient Appalachian Mountains and it is still moving south towards New York and New Jersey. And until now, these kinds of mysterious underground formations have only been seen near volcanoes, something leaking out of the magma chamber, some magma intrusion, or something blopping up from a deeper lying magma chamber, forming, forming a more shallow magma chamber like in Iceland, but also Campi Flegre. Um, or we see this around the borders of tectonic plates, especially in subduction zones, where one plate is subducting underneath the other, then goes deep down, gets recycled, gets hot, and comes back as magma. That's why there are so many volcanoes, especially, for example, along the Pacific Ring of Fire. But um, no, this is not what we're dealing with here. New England isn't near any of these tectonic borders. So researchers concluded that this must be something else that they call basically this blob must be part of a slow moving mantle wave. It gets more interesting. It's basically a chain of sinking and rising rock that is set in motion over 90 million years ago when North America split up from Europe near the Labrador Sea. And you see that map here. Basically, that sits between Canada and Greenland. So this NNA, how it's called, has a slow creep of roughly 12 miles every million years. And it's, the researchers suggest that it will reach New York City in about 15 million years. Whew. But that doesn't mean, you know, that it's not there yet. I mean, it's already underneath other cities and other areas. 
And there's a new study that noted that this immense moving blob is not alone. And older blobs could be part of an ongoing drip of heavy rock that is sinking like if you pour out a bottle of syrup, like, like a syrup in water, and that's what's happening underneath the US. So where is this coming from? What is the threat? Scientists say that this thermal upwelling has long been a puzzling feature underneath the North American geology. It lies beneath part of the continent that has been quiet for, tectonically quiet for more than 180 million years. So the idea that it's just a leftover from when the land mass, mass broke apart never quite stacked up. That's what the lead author of this new study says. So it's not that. And, and this is more important, this discovery has challenged the idea that the Eastern US is geologically a dead area. People on the West Coast are always saying, ah, I want to escape the tsunamis and the earthquakes. I'm moving to the East Coast. I'm always saying, hey, guys, you can get tsunamis there and you have all the, the bad weather phenomenons, the hurricanes, if you're depending on where you move, tornadoes and all that stuff. But no, a blob. So scientists are hinting that similar drips like this recent blob, um, and there's another one, it's called the Central Appalachian Anomaly, CAA, that is further south, may have shaped America's mountains millions of years ago. So if these blobs can shake, shape mountains, they're pretty powerful, I would say. So this mantle wave refers to a newly discovered chain reaction of convective instabilities in the mantle that basically begins when a continent starts to rift. <laughs> it's getting even worse. Rift? So the scientists say that this blob, the NAA, was likely formed by a Raleigh-Taylor instability. So what is that? That's a process where the mantle became unstable during an ancient breakup of the tectonic plates. The breakup caused a drip of denser material that was sinking in the mantle and pulling lighter hot rock upwards to create these blobs. And where these blobs are, the earthquake waves move slower due to the hotter, less dense rock. And that's how you discover these areas. But also this may contribute to fewer earthquakes in the Northeast because the blob basically creates a softer, more flexible mantle that absorbs tectonic stress easy or easier. So it reduces the chance of sudden crustal breaks, not like we have on the West Coast. But geologists are saying, they also think that the region's overall stability generally comes from its old thick crust that has formed long ago. But we just had earthquakes, three point close to four in New Jersey, in New York. So there's still something going on. It's not completely quiet. And this NAA, the study found where it's currently located. It's currently located near the boundary of a deep geological structure that was formed by the Laramide Orogeny, suggesting its position, its current position, is influenced by an ancient tectonic breakup. The Laramie Orogeny was active around 1.5 million years ago, a period when the Earth's crust was compressed and folded, creating major mountain ranges like the Rockies. And then it left a thick layer of crust beneath parts of the Eastern US that weren't used, if you want to speak in terms like that. So the study has basically found evidence of how past continental shifts guide today's underground movements because they link the current 
position to a tectonic feature from million years ago. And that is baffling scientists because they thought the Eastern US was geologically stable. It's obviously not. And they're telling us that these drips migrate inland over time, away from the original rift zone. And the scientists think that this same process might explain these unusual seismic patterns that they find beneath the Appalachians. The timing lines up perfectly. So here is an explanation. Because the researchers also are proposing that these drips are part of a chain reaction. Basically, where one sinking blob triggers the next blob. And then they're moving inland over millions of years like a slow underground conveyor belt. If you look at the central Appalachian anomaly, the CAA that was found in parts of or is found in parts of Pennsylvania, Virginia and West Virginia, it's likely an older drip from this same chain that was formed around 135 million years ago. And so it's still impacting today's life there. And of course, when they're speaking of this wave, it's not a literal wave, but it's basically a progressive flow of deformation that is traveling. Mantle material that be behaves like a wave be in how it propagates. So this process is still active. The mantle continues to shift slowly and it's potentially creating new blobs in the future. So that's not it. The problem is they would need current or newer data from Newfoundland, but they have only limited seismic data from Newfoundland. Who would put up seismic stations there? Why? So that makes it hard to confirm if newer drips already exist. So interesting stuff going on underneath the soil, underneath the crust that we don't know of, guys. But thankfully, you have me and I am telling you, if you like that, please like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe. And if you like it so much that you want to support the channel, hey, check the links in the description. You can fill me up with coffee there or and click the join button to become a monthly member for behind the scene and private stuff. Thank you for your super thanks for watching guys. I hope I see you here in one of the videos in the end screen, but always check out my start page, go to videos, go to recent videos, and then you can scroll through all the stuff that's happening everywhere around the world from Japan to Switzerland, from Russia, Kamchatka to Campi Fligri in Italy Lots of stuff could blow and is blowing. So the most important ones are here in the end screen, guys. I see you there in a second, hopefully. Bye-bye.